Hi, I'm Plenish Pro Joey O'Hare and I'm a chef. This recipe is for some savoury crepes which are delicious with lots of soft herbs through the batter and they're made with Plenish's organic cashew milk. For the crepe batter you're going to need one cup of spelt flour, two eggs, some cashew milk, some dill, some chives, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast and then the fillings are so versatile you can really go in any direction you want uh, but today we're just going to show some flaked smoked mackerel with rocket and lemon or perhaps some crumbled feta, avocado and green chilli. So we'll start by making the crepe batter. You just need to grab a mixing bowl and a sieve to sift the spelt flour. Just go, that's it. One cup. So I've used a whole grain spelt flour, which means that not all of it will go through the sieve. That's absolutely fine to tip that in, just make sure that all the lumps are gone. And then the sort of bran and husk is fine to go in as well. We'll just add in the nutritional yeast. That's two tablespoons. It's going to give it a lovely cheesy flavour. And then in a separate mixing jug, just crack two eggs. And we just need to whisk these with one cup of plenished cashew milk. And just whisk together the eggs and the milk. So now just make a little well in the centre of the dry ingredients. And quite simply, using a whisk and pouring in a slow, steady stream, just combine the milk and the eggs into the spelt flour. So once that's whisked well, um, and you can see that most of the lumps have gone, just set that to one side and then we'll chop the fresh herbs which are going to be folded through the batter. And in terms of the quantities of the herbs, just go with however much you think you're going to like. Just with the dill, pick some of the leafy bits off the, the thicker stalks. And then just add the dill in as well. And then just gently stir these herbs through the crepe batter. So now you just want a medium saucepan, ideally a non-stick one, and we're just going to pop it on a moderate heat. And just give it a tiny bit of uh, whatever cooking oil is your preference. Uh, I've gone with a tasteless coconut oil, but anything is fine. And just let that good and warm, not too hot, but of a good temperature. And then just go in one small ladle of the crepe batter and swirl it round. And as that's cooking, it's very easy just to quickly prepare the fillings. And now that the crepe's gone more or less translucent all over, it's probably time to flip it, get the non-sticks work. And then just give it about two more minutes on the second side to cook through the other way. So once it's started just to kind of uh, flute a little around the outside, that probably means it's done. It's curling at the edges. Just transfer it onto the kitchen roll. And you can almost just go straight again. I'm going to add just a touch more oil for the second one. For the first one, we're going to go with avocado, feta and green chilli. Some crumbled feta. A sprinkling of green chilli. And then just a twist of black pepper. And it's good to let the crepes cool down just a little bit. You don't want to be pushing fresh rocket onto a piping hot crepe. So let it just come down so it's sort of warmish. And now just adding some smoked mackerel that's been flaked. Some fresh rocket, a squeeze of lemon, black pepper, and a little drizzle of olive oil. And there you have it, savoury crepes with two different fillings. 